Can we can we get to the the big news? Yeah, do it. This is your time to shine. Borderlands three going to be coming. revealed. Yep, March. Do you think it's coming out this year? Or is March it going to be week. like a like one of those announcements where they say, and it's going to be out this September? It's going to be out this year. There's no way that it's not out this year, right? Yep. I I think you're this right. This is the time. There's ninety. How many P- PS4s are out there? Ninety four million something. Mm-hmm. Good time to put out a game. Yeah, so they they put out on their Twitter account, they just put a picture of a billboard with a date corresponding to PAX East and its exit number three, and it is all cel-shaded looking like Borderlands. Half-Life 3. Right. All right, good. We like Borderlands. All right, excited for I'm really hopeful that this is a true, like, sequel, and they haven't just, like, totally screwed up the game. You mean they turn it into a, d- Destiny? Yeah, there's like a little bit of it that I'm like, they're going to oh, screw yeah. this up. They could, they could totally they're, Destiny. They're like totally going to screw little... this up. Like, I'm I'm like, maybe 65% sure that they've screwed this up <laughs> at, th- at this point. Borderlands as service? As a service? Oh. Ooh, instead of instead of it being like finding a eight thousand weapons every ten minutes, you're gonna find like one gun every six hours, or you could buy guns as you want them. Oh, that'll be bad. Well, let's see. Loot boxes. I mean, that was one of the first games to have loot boxes. But you couldn't buy them, could you? No, they were in-game loot boxes. That's what I'm saying. It's like they kind of are like one of the granddaddies of the loot box game back when loot boxes were fun because they weren't monetized. Right. You could get codes off of Twitter that Randy Pitchford would post. <laughs> I yep. got some. Mm-hmm. I think we they all still, did. They still do that. They're still yep. putting out those codes. It's good. It's fun. It's insane. It's cool. <laughs> Uh, I wonder how many codes were on that USB drive. I want, drive I want this left. to be good so bad. Yes, of course. This is big. Maybe it takes place at an outer space medieval times. Oh, medieval times planet. Do you think there'll be a reference to that to that in there somewhere? It wouldn't surprise me if USB there was drive. because that's their kind of sense of humor. I don't know. Right. It's a little bit. Isn't there's some like lawsuits and stuff going on as well? That's though, true. So. That makes it even funnier. Uh, not to not say that they're their lawyer that they wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's art. 